Hello guys, welcome. This is the Pika from mytutorialrack.com and in this video we are going to insert data into this table. The reason is we are going to use this table as the source and we are going to fetch the data from this table through our client application. And that is going to be a new Salesforce org from which we are going to connect to this org. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Salesforce inspector here and uh, we are going to go over to data import and I'm going to click on this, open it in a new tab. And here I will use the insert and which table it's going to be the employees. So you can see here, there's only one table we have is employee HR data. I'm going to use this and I do have an Excel sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that sheet here. It's available here. This is the Excel sheet and I'm going to just copy up till this point, okay? Do a control C and I'm going to add this sheet to the lecture, so do not worry and feel free to add your own employees, okay? So here I'm gonna go ahead and do a control V here and I have to provide the field mapping. This is going to be the employee ID, this is first name, this is last name, this is salary and this is date of birth, okay? So the field mapping is done and then I will hit the import here Currently, if you see, there is no records in this object. You can see here, employees HR data has zero records. So if you see here, nothing is there. There are zero items. And now I will go ahead and hit the import button here. And it's going to ask, you're about to modify your data. Correct, and we are going to import. And you can see here, all this has been inserted. And if I go over to this employee object now, we will be able to see all those records that we just inserted. So you can see here, now you have total of 25 employees record. So this particular application that I'm showing you, you can enhance it based on your level of expertise. You wanna add some more data, feel free to do it. You wanna store some other type of data, feel free to do it. This is just an example that I took of a real application. I'm trying to mimic a real application which will make your things super, super clear, okay? So what we have done so far is we have created our first Salesforce org. And in that Salesforce org, we have imported 25 employee records. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to install Postman and we will use Postman to get data from this table. Make sure you have installed Postman. If you haven't installed Postman, all you need to do is you just go to Google and type in Postman install. I have already installed it on my computer. So the first link that you see here, download Postman, just click on that. And based on which operating system you have, you can click, I have Windows, so you can see here, I'll click on the Windows 64 bit. It's going to download it, and then you just need to do next, 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 and it'll download your Postman. So this is how you can download the Postman. Once you have downloaded the Postman, I will recommend you to create an account with them. It's free of cost, and then that way you'll be able to create a collection, you'll be able to create some HTTP request, all of that. Okay, so make sure you have installed Postman and the link to install Postman is this URL here. I will be adding that URL as well. So before you come to the next lecture, make sure you have Postman installed and you are signed in to your free Postman account. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.